That is not your mother. Illumination is flying pretty high thanks to their massive box office hit the Super Mario Bros. movie. Now they look to stick the landing this Christmas with migration. But, did this bird soar with critics? Or did it crash and burn? Here's the review roundup. We will start with Hollywood reporter's Lovia Gyakye who wrote, I'm praising migration so effusively because it is, above all, an enjoyable film made with heart and a respect for its audience. Sure, there are rough patches, a bit about a vengeful chef overstays its welcome, but most of that can be forgiven. A well-assembled cast of voice actors brings the characters to life. Migration's considerable appeal perhaps lies in the simplicity of its premise, the hardest part of embarking on any new journey is taking off. Next is IndieWire's Kate Erbland who wrote, It is very silly and often strange, but it's also sweet and funny, and damn it all if you don't start to really care about this odd little family. It may zing and zag in unexpected formations but it all soars along at a genial enough clip. Up next is The Globe and Mail's Aparita Bandari and she wrote, this is a feel-good movie that offers a little bit of an escape for families with no plans for a vacation to warmer climes. The humor is gentle, and the ensemble cast maintains the tone, although a scene or two may momentarily terrify a truly sensitive toddler. We move on to Variety's Peter de Bruges who wrote, Even at just 70-something minutes, before credits, the movie seems to take forever getting to its destination, delivering its funniest bit up front in the form of Moon, a 10-minute short that catches up with despicable me villain vector, Jason Siegel, in exile. And thus, migration finds a way to work in minions. That's essentially what Illumination audiences want anyway. Not ducks. Next is Seattle Times Soren Anderson who wrote, It's all big action. Big colorful visuals outsized vocal performances. And that's pretty much the way it goes in migration. Animated fun for the whole fam. Check that. Fun mostly for kids between 5 and 12, I'd say. Older audience members might quickly find themselves afflicted with the fidgets. In the end, the film amassed a pretty decent score of 72% from 39 reviews on Rotten Tomatoes so it may not have been the greatest film illumination had ever produced, but it does seem majority of the critics did find the movie somewhat enjoyable. Is that enough to get you aboard this flight? As per usual, that might come down to what the little ones are feeling for this Christmas. Thanks for watching and for more animated bird films check out our review roundup of Chicken Run Dawn of the Nugget.